Welcome back to How To Kids. Subscribe. Fallon, what are you going to be for Halloween? A shower. Why do you want to be a shower? Because I love taking showers. Okay, well, what's the rest of the family going to be? My mommy's going to be my loofah. A loofah? Okay, what's daddy going to be? Daddy's going to be a bar of soap. And my sister's going to be a rubber ducky. A rubber ducky. And we're going to make all of these costumes, right? Yeah. Are you going to help make them all? Yeah. My dad's going to show me how to make my shower costume. Best Halloween costume ever. Don't okay. forget to subscribe to my channel. Up for... Basically, you just need some zip ties, uh, preferably white, um, some white duct tape, uh, some foam here. I bought the four pack. Oh, I'm gonna need a 10 foot piece of um, half inch PVC. Again, if I didn't mention it, these are all uh, half inch pieces. You have your elbows here and then your T's. I think there's uh, 12 of these and four of the uh the t's uh, i did not invest in a or no, nor do i have a pvc pipe cutter i choose the tim the tool man taylor uh, you're going to cut six two inch pieces of pvc this is a two inch cut so after a few cuts this is kind of just the uh, beginning Um, that's kind of the basic structure. We have the basic structure completed. Now, I'll need to make sure it's the right size. Luckily, it still moves. And it's a light frame, pretty much, I would say that this whole entire thing maybe weighs about a pound and a half, if I had to guess. Next, we're going to take a generic hula hoop and shrink it down a bit. So we're going to cut it down, I'm going to say probably about three inches on each side. Uh, therefore, it will give me a, a, bit, a better diameter of, of actually how it will rest on my daughter's shoulders. The basic outline is completed. The long bar here is where the shower head is connected. These shorter bars is where I'll zip tie the PVC pipe to the hula hoop. Now we just need Fallon to give us an accurate measurement before we zip tie it all together. After measuring these pieces, I realized they were a little too long. So I cut them down to eight inches on each side. I used PVC glue to hold everything together. I left the T's unglued. Therefore, if we need to adjust the angle, we can. So this thing can be picked up or moved around. It's um, solid as a rock. And we're good to go to start putting on the padding. So basically, uh, here we go with some of the um, foam wrapped around the uh, PVC for the shoulder so it's comfortable. Then what we'll do is we'll put some zip ties on each of these sections to tie it down so the, the pads don't move. Uh, and then we will go ahead and then use the, the um, white tape to hide everything. Make sure that these little sections um, of the zip tie, or of course up, and off of the shoulder. Okay, as you can see, I decided to go ahead and put some extra uh, shoulder padding in there.
So this is done. Um, it should give her a good support. Next thing we'll do is uh, add the shower um, rings and um, start measuring out the curtain uh, based on her height.